Hey guys, Mr. Kozlov here. We're going to start our Unit 3 today, and this video will give you an overview of what is a ratio, a rate, and a proportion. <clears throat> this is what we're going to be working on for about the next five weeks. So this note page is going to be very important. Follow along, stop and start as often as you need, and let's get to it. First, the three vocabulary words you're going to need to know to begin with. First one is ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities with the same units. A rate is a ratio comparing two numbers with different units. And a proportion is an equation showing two ratios are equal. So let's get into that a little bit. First of all, what is a ratio? Once again, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities with the same units. There are three ways to write a ratio, and this is very important. The first way to write it is with a colon in between it. This is two to three, and that's my ratio. You can also write it using a fraction bar, which is going to be one of the most important ones we remember for this unit, and that's what a fraction looks like. And the third way is to write the word two in between the two numbers. So if I was asking about a ratio of two red balls to three blue balls, it would be two to three. And you can write it any of these three ways. I have a little sign under here that says, remember, a ratio must always be in its simplest form, but have two numbers. So in other words, if I am going to write 4 over 1, like there are 4 balloons to every 1 piece of cake, then I have to write this as 4 over 1. A ratio, again, is the comparison of two quantities with the same units, not just one. So if I simplify 4 to 1, in a normal fraction, the answer would be four. But as a ratio, you have to have two numbers. One on the top, one on the bottom, one on the left, one on the right, one on the left, one on the right. Has to be two numbers. So I hope that helps just a little bit. When we talk about simplest form, we're talking about simplifying the numbers like we do with fractions. All right, so next. Let's talk about the three types of ratios. This is gonna sound a little different, but you need to pay attention. Three types of ratios are part to part, part to whole, and whole to part. And the most important thing to remember about ratios is the way that you say it is the way that you write it. So in other words, if we say that this is a container that has black and white marbles in it. You can count the black marbles. There are six of them. You can count the white marbles. There are four of them. If I ask you which part to which part, then I'm asking you about the white marbles and the black marbles. If I ask you what is the ratio of white marbles to black marbles, then the white marbles go on top, the black marbles would go on the bottom. If I ask you what is the ratio of black marbles to white marbles, that reverses the order. So whatever way you're being asked in a word problem or by your teacher or just in any respect, that's the way you have to write it because it changes depending on which one you say or do first. So white to black, black to white. And then you notice that four over six can be simplified. And I wanna make sure we understand that together. When I write four over six, that can be simplified by dividing the numerator and the denominator of this ratio by two. And remember, this is not really a fraction, it's a ratio. But for all intensive purposes, ratios still need to be simplified just like fractions. So I'm using that as an example because four divided by two is two. 
And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the reason we're doing ratios and proportions right after the unit we just did is because we just spent time with prime and composite numbers. And you can always divide out every prime number in order to simplify a ratio. It has to be divided by the same number in both the numerator and the denominator. Those of you that are a little advanced, basically you take the GCF out of both numerator and denominator, and that will be your simplified ratio. Next, we have part to whole. Part to whole means what part of this container is a ratio with the whole container? So in other words, it's the white marbles to the total marbles or the black marbles to the total marbles. When I count all of them, that's the total. So there are four white marbles to 10 total marbles. There are six black marbles to 10 total marbles. Once again, both of these ratios can be simplified. The only correct answer is a simplified answer. Please remember that. Lastly, we have whole to part. Remember, it depends on what you say. So part to whole is the opposite of whole to part. For example, if I tell you there are 30 days in April and 15 of them it rained, my ratio then would be 30 days to 15 rainy days, the total to the part. And the answer would be two over one. It rained two days for every day that it didn't rain. Okay? Or two days total for every day that it rained. I think you get the picture. So part to whole and whole to part are just the opposites. And notice the way those numbers are. Four to 10, 10 to four. Six to 10, 10 to six. It's just the opposite, but it depends on what you're looking for. So I'm gonna move over to this next screen. This next screen talks about what is the ratio of blue marbles to yellow marbles. And here are all the colors. There's a red, a blue, a purple, a green, a yellow, and a white. The question though is what is the ratio of blue marbles to yellow marbles? Here is the blue marble, here is the yellow marble. So I'm gonna put the blue marble on top, I'm gonna to put the yellow marbles on the bottom. That is a part to part question. I could also write that as five to three, and I can write that as five, sorry, five to eight, or five to eight. For our purposes, when we use forms, and when we ask you to give us the answers, the best way to write that is in a fractional form unless you're asked to do otherwise. The second question says, what is the ratio of blue marbles to the total number of marbles? Now we know that the blue marbles is five, so I know that the top or numerator will be a five, and now I have to find the total marbles. Nine plus three is 12, 12 plus eight is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30. So if I have five over 30, then I know that I can divide both of these by five, and my correct answer would be one to six. So the ratio of blue marbles to total marbles is one blue marble for every six total marbles. Lastly, what is the ratio of total marbles to purple marbles? Well, I already know the total, so I don't need to find that again. I know the total is going to be 30, and I also know that the purple is 3. So when I divide both of those numbers by 3, I get 10 over 1. Now remember, the answer is not 10. In order to be a ratio, as we saw in that first top left-hand vocabulary, you need to have two numbers that we are pitting on each other. I can't keep forgetting, I can't do that. So if I go back 
If I go back up to that first slide, remember a ratio is the comparison of two quantities with the same units. Okay? Let me put that back where that belongs. So that is 10 over 1, and that would be my correct answer. Last but not least, if we go down to the last few examples, the probability of an event is 0.65. What is the probability expressed as a ratio <coughs> in fractional form? So now you have a decimal that we need to change into a fraction. 0.65 is 65 one hundredths. Okay? You should have learned that in fifth grade. I hope you remember. I need to simplify that now. They are both divisible by 5 which takes this down to 50 and takes this down to 13. I do not believe that they're, oh, by five, sorry. That's 13 over 20. And I do not believe there is anything else that I can do. So there is your answer for the probability expressed as a ratio. If an event is 47 hundredths, this is what it would look like as a ratio. And there is no number that can go into 47, so there is my final answer. Last but not least, John has a collection of toy cars. He's got red ones, blue ones, black ones, yellow ones. What is the ratio of red cars to yellow cars? Do I need to know about black and blue? I do not. I can cross those out. But I do need to make sure I write them in the right order. Red on top of yellow. Then I divide both of these by two, and there is my final ratio. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you've understood it. Start and stop it as many times as you need. And good luck with the beginning of ratios.